Hello, my name is Fraser Simons. This is my channel, Springboard Thought. Today I'm doing a review of Charlene Elsby's Psychros, which, if you recall, I made a video on her other book, Effect, which was amazing. This book is about a woman who slowly becomes unhinged and is essentially careening from interaction to interaction that makes her more entrenched and sort of uh, on a spinning on a top type situation, a powder keg. Um, because her partner who has committed suicide has sort of unearthed all these unprocessed feelings and simultaneously unearth a lot of um, unresolved trauma that she has in her life. And so she is just sort of trying to deal with all of that. It's a portrait of grief, of anger. She's only seemingly got access to some very primary uh, feelings and not much nuance. But uh, at the same time, it's very interesting because she is very logical and methodical in her thinking. She's uh, logical and I think that's fascinating because a lot of times when you um, debate with people often they think they are more um, accurate, morally correct, right in general when they are being logical and all of the things that this voice exemplifies yet we clearly see a path of dissent and destruction. The tone and the uh, quality of the dark humor and the sort of biting wit that is in this, I liken to Fleabag, which is a show that is phenomenal on Amazon Prime. It is sort of similarly about a woman who becomes unhinged when a death affects her. And so it's interesting that there's some parallels in the kind of narrative flavor that both of them have. Uh, this is also very funny. It doesn't care about niceties. It doesn't care about dressing up its uh, particular voice to make it palatable to especially white male audience. And then similarly, it also has a stream of consciousness type of vibe that I get from Virginia Woolf. Her thoughts in here are very methodical and measured and there's a specific cadence that makes it very interesting but it is still a stream of consciousness and that is what makes it very interesting to me. She returns to and examines very specific things that she gets hung up on, whether it be a very specific sentence like her partner who killed himself having said once that she would like this man named Jeff, he's tall. She completely like goes into a spin analyzing that phrase and like, from it, we glean a lot about her partner and about her herself, her state of mind, where she's going, the trajectory that this story might take. It's fantastic. Uh, interestingly, in the beginning, I was a little bit worried. Um, I say in the beginning, probably like the first 10 pages. Basically, as soon as she meets Jeff, I was kind of like, oh, okay, this is perfect. I'm jiving with this. I get this. And the um, voice just sort of clicked for me. And of course, because it's first person, uh, I don't believe it is fully um, how reliable. Every first person narration is unreliable in some way. But because the buttressing is coached in such um, high diction and uh, education methodology and just sort of overall intelligence, it's very fun to be in this person's head even when it becomes like unsettling and more unhinged. The plot is very simple. It's 140 pages. It's uh, short and sweet. We basically just watch a descent of sorts, sometimes just laterally, but um, we just watch her essentially careen from interaction to interaction. And it is a brilliant display of agency at work in a, at a societal level, sort of performatism, um, gender roles and dynamics being again on display and analyzed and examined in a very like, in a very subtle way that comes across organically, but also still 
nuanced and um, not sympathetic to the patriarchy. The sort of damage and the internalized uh, machinations of a woman who, when treated a specific way and has not dealt with trauma and is continually dealing with microaggressions and dealing with men who want X from her, um, what sort of toll that takes on the psyche even when she is quite um, logical and restrained and um, performing her role expertly. Which again actually makes up a really interesting portion of the prose because she's very aware of performatism and what is happening in a certain interaction what she's willing to concede, what she wants from a specific person. It's a character study that doesn't flinch from having to have the protagonist sort of not be conforming <laughs> to what we would call morally right, but still giving us enough information that it is understandable uh, what actions she is taking and what toll they have on her. So if that sounds interesting to you, I highly recommend you pick up Psychros and all her other works. Support her, she's fantastic. I'd love to have more books from her and to have uh, her more widely read. If you review any of her books, please comment below and I'll check it out. I will definitely be a dedicated reader of hers and think her stuff is fantastic. That's all for me. I will catch you next video. Bye.